Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Gates of Versailles mod for Hearts of Iron Forum, your host, Mr. Uh, Mocha Lover, but this time we're playing as the French Empire as we can tell from the flag. We're led by Prime Minister Pierre Laval and Charles I. So he's got a paragraph at the cup bottom, but if you're wondering about uh, this guy, please go right ahead. We're a bunch of despotists. We're from the House of Bonaparte. And uh, we're supposed to be on historical, which I did leave it on historical, even though I'm not exactly sure what historical is. Even though, ooh, this guy's not great. Um, this guy's not bad too. I believe for us though to go historical, we need to go down Viva la Empire at Viva la France. But we're doing Le Grand Chantier. Le Grand Chantier is an industrial project that are working phases. They'll transform France into industrial nation it needs to be. But then La Université de Paris. The University of Paris will be the grandest university in Europe. A marvel, a modern marvel, marvel of modern French architecture. That was the greatest French professor. So uh, we're, we're doing that. But we have a little conflict here in, in French Indochina. Um, we could send guns to them, but we have no guns. We could send trucks to them, but we have no trucks. What all we did was send a men. And we're trying to bring South China back into the fold, so we gotta get rid of Viet we got rid of Vietnam. We gotta get rid of the Indo Chinese Indo Chinese Union. The Kingdom of Laos and Cambodia or so. Um so we gotta get rid of those guys. So that's why we're all here. Who's this? Laos? Well, you gotta die, Laos. Sorry. It's kinda lousy that you're trying to fight us. But this one. Fra underscore Viva Empire at Viva La France underscore desk. I do love a good desk. So, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just keep doing what we do and have uh, encircle divisions and kill them all off. We'll do it the French way. I think we're going to gas them. That's not the French way, probably. Could be wrong. Whatever. Uh, you're going to do that. But you can help destroy that division right there. Thank you very much. The North Indian War, huh? Nice. Very nice. But we're going to do as much as we can. We only have three research slots, which is why I'm really gunning for uh, a lot more research slots. Or there's one more, at the very least, of course. Um, you know what? How about you do this and you hold yourself? My God, supply is so bad. Oh, save our Lord! Save our Lord! Oh my goodness! And there goes Laos. Goodbye, Laos. And do you have anything here interesting? Not too much. How about our guy up here? No, he's a defensive guy, and he only can defend her of sorts. But if you do that, do you just destroy their divisions? Oh yes, please. Oh, Father, may I? Um, in the meantime, we're doing really well against, down, against these fellas down here, so I'm not too upset. Just upset enough. Go to Hue? Hue? Is that Hue or Hue? I'm not sure. How about y'all go down here? I know supply sucks, but Masker in Bosnia, not our problem. Or abs. God, I wish I had abs. Um, but, you know, working on it. Oh! Okay, then. Now to Cambodia. And I think the diplomacy we want to do is aggressive, so... Fra underscore aggressive diplomacy underscore desk. I love it. There you go. Have fun. Have fun with them. Stung Trang, huh? I could escalate it more, but do we really need to? More max volunteers? We're good. Oh, we can't do this one. we got to wait till 1936. Okay, then. Uh, we can use some millies. We can use some civvies. Building slots, building slots, building slots. Oh, is that it? My god. Because we get to have a democratic transition, but we're good. Army innovations? Armies in desperate need of reform and innovation being left in a backward state from the Great War. All parts of the armed are outdated. Yeah, I believe that, yeah. Army de terra. Infantry. Artillery. Warfare. Well, they got a lot of blueprints. Artillery attack, I like that. And more artillery attack, that's very good. Draw on the reserves. More Focus a lot of manpower. Tanks first armor. Ooh. Infantry attack goes down, but slightly more armor attack. Interesting. Oh, let's get 12% in total. Alright, well. All this naval stuff is just blueprints for 70 day focus, so I don't really feel like I need to do all those. Um. Remove victors. Oh, that's something good to get rid of. Yeah, that's very good to get rid of, actually. We probably want to beeline through that. Or we'll beeline through all our industry stuff. God, there's not much you can really get here, is there? My goodness. Well, let's do this one. First industrialization of the metropolitan France. As it's not taking toll on the land of the people, the industrialization of France must come in phases. International aviation, cool. They're helping out. These go there. Alright, what can we do? Well, we don't have any advisors. God. That really sucks, huh? <laughs> wow. Well, we'll go to partial mobilization then. 
Sim Reap. Alright. Hey, another division though, that's pretty nice. Oh, we took it. Bamberg? Should be good enough, right? Oh, okay. Well, we're doing okay. Don't we got to give it out. Alright then. End of China Drove's Crush brings South China back into the fold. And they gave no choice, look at this. Oh, do they get cores or just calling? Oh, it's core states, look at that. Charles first, what about George Catro? Guerrilla Rebels, oh god. French military assistance, that's pretty good. That's very good. Unpopular regime, oh my god. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We have no plans, but whatever. And they have a generic focus tree, unfortunately, but that's their problem, not ours. Which probably also could be our problem too, but whatever. There you go, shove them in there. If we can, I want to bully the, the, the Belgian boys. Um, we do have a couple divisions, me mechanized, not mechanized, uh, you know, light tanks, I can't, I can't speak anymore, apparently. Army de Terra. The first branch of the armed forces must be updated, is the most important one, the land forces. Let's see, we're going to do one that doesn't give us that many benefits, because I'm sure I'll play the French again someday. So, as much as I want these guys, what about supremacy of artillery? So the one I would want to do is this one, so let's go down infantry, the most important part of the armed forces. The Alpine Line. The Alpine Line is a series of fort hills, or fort lines, that protect us against Italy. Heavy tank support. Heavy tanks are tanks that are very heavy. Wow. And they're used to push in the front lines. They're heavily armored. We can penetrate a fort line easily by using these we can support the infantry. Who knew heavy tanks were heavy? A passive diplomacy. Expand the calling you. Watchmen of the world. Invest in Nouveau Holland. We could. I think I think it's aggressive policy that we want to go. I could be wrong though. I have no idea. Despotic. So we just gotta wait a little longer. First, a military industrialization of metropolitan France. The equivalent of our soldiers is about important as the soldiers themselves. We must construct military factories in France, but in phases, not to take toll on the people and the land. Again. Okay. Um, oh, France and the Olympics. Sacre bleu. Never in its history has France performed so poorly in the Olympic Games. When our 200 athletes returned from Alexandria, the lack of medals became shockingly clear. Only seven gold medals made the trip to Paris, so complete and utter defeat on the world stage. Foreign powers have even begun to joke that if our best sportsmen are this bad, then the army must be full of feminine boys. This internal front does not look much better. Though the public and government have been incensed by this national embarrassment, they demand answers as to how this could have happened to the greatest country on earth, of course. We can shift the blame to the Olympics Committee for not properly preparing or increasing funding or building new training centers. Alternatively, an old-fashioned military pro will show our strength just as effectively. Our entire fleet and start from scratch. Dumping money always solves problems. The military pro to distract the people. I don't lose stability. Dumping money always solves our problems. And which we're going to invest in Libya. It's important that we do not neglect Libya. It's part of the important rail and trade route across North Africa. But apparently, the area looks for wealth and be used for great effect. An old rivalry. Alright, and then the new dream. Well then, the October events. Today at 1 o'clock, 13th of October, 1936. Well, that was actually almost two weeks ago. A series of T attacks, terrorist attacks, have happened in a glorious capital, Paris. There are three of them. The first one in the train station, God du Nord, which killed 57 people. The second in the cafe near the uh, 12th arrondissement, which killed 144 people. And the last one in a shop on the 9th arrondissement, which killed 12 people. We've also reported over 430 wounded people, though the police have investigated heavily in the situation. A bear has been under lockdown. Still, there are no suspects. People are living with locked doors and are still scared. God is against us. The fault of those Jacobins. Reduce their numbers in the parliament. Conservative. Where, where, Bonaparte, huh? Uh, liberal democratic. Guided democracy, conservative democracy. democracy. Also, what are national spirits? Victors of the Great War. Holy crap, that's so bad. Fears of a democratic coup. Oh. Home. And then German ethnicity problems. Those darn Germans. As the Spesky British have perpetrated the attacks. We're going to blame the British. I think that's the best idea. Best course of action. Just blame the Brits. Okay, why is it so laggy? Okay, there we go. An old rivalry, huh? Well, we'll see about that with aggressive diplomacy. And of course, we read a new dream earlier. Anti-British propaganda. Oh, of course we are. Look at all the stability we get. We get a whole half and a whole half of uh, war support, too. The naval competition with Great Britain. Well, that actually wouldn't be half bad. Better naval output, better naval construction speed, dockyard construction speed plus 15%. Support Ireland. That sounds like a good idea. Because why not? Get a support from America. Increase naval funding. Not bad. Prepare for the war, but we oh that one eventually we can't quite do that. That's not bad. That's pretty good overall too. New dream, the Great Campaign. Ooh, I like campaigns. Oh, purge the Democratic parties. 
Oh, I like purging too. That sounds like fun. Okay, cool. Um, that was still 1936, of course. Ships, ship wise. Let's get some ship stuff done. Artillery would be nice. Um, or, uh, why not? We'll do one too. So we're trying to build up our industry quite a bit. We're doing okay, actually. 15, 15, 12. That's uh, pretty decent overall. We have, we have 97. We need way more guns. Way more trucks. Way more dockyards. We need just more of everything. We have no air XP. Oh my god. I mean, there's, it's almost impossible for us to get any anyways. So, How great. How flipping fantastic. We have 67 ships. One carrier. Now it's a converted battleship pulse, so it's actually really just straight trash. We have up, almost filled it all out, but still. You know the rivalry, huh? La Solución Radical. Despotic, huh? Well, let's do a new dream. The campaign sounds like fun. So, Napoleon's speech against Britain. Today, Emperor Napoleon held a speech in Paris. The theme of the speech was Great Britain, and how friends, and them are eternal enemies, of course. In the Great War, they were on the same side against Prussia, but since then, we've drifted apart and like two old friends. The crowd had mixed reactions, the radicals being unamused, but the general crowd was cheering. Great Britain has not made any com comments on the speech, but it's likely that they're not pleased with this move. Our eternal enemy. So we have no template for toad and air, huh? Well, we have 132, which is not bad. This guy's kill, huh? Yeah, improved playing catapult, nice. We're gonna need some armor for these bad. Why do you have heavy ships but no armor? That makes literally no sense. We went to Civil War. That's nice. Good job, guys. Go on train. Don't think we want to get it solved. Uh, well, we do like them a little bit. I'm saying it's a whole fat division. They all like us. They're all despists. Do we like the Masons, though? Or Billy's toys? I like toys. Oh, wow. I honestly don't really care. I want to... Oh. Ooh. Well, he was born in Scotland. Oh. Huh. Or how about these guys? Bertram Ramsey. He's a naval guy. Screw it. I'm going to continue him. I don't care. I'm here for XP. That's what we're really here for. And a new dream, of course. Oh, a Swedish Civil War. Yes, please. Support the Gustavites. Declare neutrality. I will support these guys, maybe. Guided democracy versus... Oh, but despotism. But the Prussians... Oh my god, they went SPD. Is that historical? They go socialist? Well, we're supporting the Vilemites and... Gustavites. Four divisions, eh? Well, the tanks aren't super great, so... Um, you're pretty black, and we'll send it... Uh, this is good. Yeah, why not? I know I sent the other group to the other group, but whatever, I don't care. Let me bomb you! Are we bombing? We are bombing! I like to bomb people. Anyways, um, I guess we might as well do that. Space cruiser armor scheme, nice. Oh, yeah, should go ahead and do that one? Okay then. I get the capital. Send aid. Well, that's nice. Two fat divisions. We're struggling a little bit against them. But it's good army XP. Yeah, carrier hold nice. Um, you alright, Sutter? Here. here, give us a moment here. Ah, I can fight them too, huh? The new dream, huh? Good, great campaign. Cool. 
So they're fighting these guys too, that's not good. Yeah, they got some, some straight up volunteers now, that's not good at all. Can you guys do anything there maybe? Maybe, yes, no, maybe so. Not keeping. Well, they're puppeted. Of course, we get encircled. God dang it. Well, we get here, you get a tiny bit of supply, so. Yeah, well, these guys fighting over here, that's not good. So, we might have to double check and make sure we don't get encircled here, because it kind of sucks if we do. We already lost the division, so hopefully we don't in the end. But with a great campaign, good pay for Catalonia. What is this one? Factory restructure, restructuration? Legendary members of the Continental Alliance may not like this. You could seek help from Germany and Great Britain in case you do anything that messes with them. Of course, the Geneve? Keep Baden's on French influence? Of course, the Dusseldorf. Well, I prefer a breach of Flemish neutrality. You might even strike a Bavaria, too. You might pop in the Netherlands as well. But we'll I see. I don't know about you, but I'm actually kind of enjoying myself in Central America. Now we could go to war with them. They're Flanders people. Pop at them, but I don't know if I really pop them. I'll see what we can do around here first. Um, we're trying to destroy these guys down here, but it's it's going. Oh, shnikes. We're trying. We just finished Army Armor. Army Innovations. Army de Terra. Yes, that'd be very good. Of course, we just destroyed them there, but this is not a bad amount of Army XP. We've kind of grinded for this. So, now we can go to War with Flanders very quickly. Uh, the whole thing is we ended pretty quickly. We made sure that it ended pretty quickly, just because I, I don't care at this point. So, Katakamas, yes. We go here next. Give you guys a little more time to heal up and do that. So let's go with something I don't want to do. Probably, I'll go with infantry. The most important part of the armed forces. Amen. Happy 38 though, everybody. Let me get radar here real quick. Nice. Yeah, you take out these guys, and these guys will fall pretty easily. Um, I don't think there's an airbase down here. Oh, there is an airbase down here. Oh, we could, oh, we could have been bombing people. What am I doing? I'm. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. We have to bomb people. We're not bombing people, we're not doing it right. Sardinian Revolt, uh oh. The Sardinian pop is raising in Cal uh, Caligari. Qu uh, quickly, uprisings continue to take place throughout the rest of the island. We must quickly put this down. Do this rebellion to show that the revolts against the rule will be met with quick and decisive action. So, you guys go up there, do that, do that, do that, do that. Long live the Empire. Well, God, dang it, bad words. Well, no matter what, we're going to leave them anyways. They're doing revolt. We'll crush them, peasants. Well, god dang it, you should have done that. You should have gone there faster, you god dang it, yes. Um, <laughs> um, well, oh well. We'll get them. I'm confident. We'll get them. wonder what the deadline is for us to get them. days. How many divisions they got? Up to 15. Oh, Jacobinus Revolt, yeah. Well, we were doing so well down there. We were doing so well. They really stacked up their divisions. Holy cow. Ah. Ready? Pretty much. Fine for now. And where do you have? You are still traveling down there, okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna force the attack. We're probably gonna lose these guys. That's just so stupid. What the heck? So unless you preemptively know that that's gonna happen, you're gonna lose this anyways. That's not cool. That's really not cool, man. So it looks like I've got to go back once again and make sure that this does not continue to revolt. Like, this is incredibly stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is stupid. This is so stupid. Yeah, no. Reform Socialist? Yeah, I don't think so. Of course, we have no field, which doesn't help out. But still, whatever. And, well, let's just say we dealt with it a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, we dealt with it. That's what we're going to say. We dealt with it. I hate the Sardinians. Let's try to invade these guys. 
France invades Flanders. In a radio speech today, Charles Fro solemnly announced a state of war exists between France and Flanders. The government of Flanders, under the leadership of Straf de Klerk, has begun adopting exceedingly nationalist policies in the last few years. The final straw for France came when the Walloon language was banned from being taught in schools. Due to its similarity to French, which was seen as an insult against French culture itself, and declared war for the liberation of the Walloon people. The Treaty of London, signed by all major European powers in the Netherlands, guaranteed the independence of Flanders from foreign invasion and influence. Discussions of Paris and Berlin are underway on how to respond to this French aggression and whether or not the treaty can be enforced in the 20th century. And risk of French culture is a risk against France itself. Oh, we can't pop it down now. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I guess, what is this one? Second industrialization of metropolitan France. As I not take a toll on the pe land of people, the industrialization of France must come in phases. Central Germany's gone. Goodbye. Anything here? No. All right. Grind away then. Nice. Antwerp. Goodbye. You're next. And we'll go right here too. Eindhoven, please. Do that real quick. Do that real quick. God's the truth threw on some uh, infantry stuff here. Some engineers, I should say. Infantry stuff, engineers. Oh my goodness. It's fine. Try and build some dockyards, refineries, military factories would be nice, more civvies, you know, all the good stuff. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot here, really. Armor, heart attack, speed, reliability. So, speed, soft attack, and heart attack. Let's go with speed and reliability. AMX. And then we'll go to the against the uh, other guys there. Trains. Um, let's focus more on these guys. So only quite a few guns and support equipment. Artillery would be nice, but we don't, just don't have enough. We just don't have enough of anything. Well, that's pretty normal nowadays. That's pretty gosh darn normal. But it's 1938, of course. Uh, what do we have? Should have you all right there. There you go. A battle cruiser, very nice. Real quick, by territory, civilian oversight, eh, it's okay. Uh, resistance, that's okay. Region to cavalry, we need some mili uh, military police, but that's alright. Focus slow, that's good. Let's go over here and do that too. Of course, we are suffering from victors of the Great War. Not good for the population. Oh, my goodness. Revanchism, huh? Why don't we get cooed? We, might, we probably will get cooed eventually. Little ahead of time. Let's grab some of that. And we'll grab some. Uh, just that one. Oh, we can, oh, we can manually justify, too. That would be really worth it. So probably not. But halfway towards that, it's not bad. Dockyards are nice, but we really need... So after this, we're going to keep making more millies no matter what. So you might as well start doing that there. So good amount of anti-air, but not a tremendous amount. We're definitely going to need some anti-air, though. No matter what happens. So we're out of that a lot. Guns are fine. Trucks are okay. Support equipment is lacking. Uh, we're going to need some what? Tungsten, too. Especially where we want to end up. Oh, definitely. Oh, man, that really sucks. After a pop in the Netherlands, I guess a slight break from going to war with other people, maybe? Or support Ireland, maybe, at the very least. It's, it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's only 14 days. We could probably do that one next. Mm. Alright, that's the case. You can do this. There you go, moving assigned region. Very nice. There you go. And here we go. Here's we call our allies in. It's fine. Yeah. Bear do before anyone might get involved, so. Amsterdam? How many divisions they have that? 23. Nice. Ireland has been supported. But in the meantime, we're going to keep going through the Terra, because we definitely need to get through this one. Draw on the reserves. After the Great War, we've been in short manpower shortages. The boys would not join the army, but we must pull in the reserves. You can't generic, but okay. Rotterdam. 
She doesn't want to give up, but she will. Nice. Thank you, sir. Mm, I will take it. No, I was supposed to pop it, but whatever. Um, something like that, maybe. Perhaps. Yes, no, maybe so. You know, more rubber. Keep working on those millies. That'd be nice. So I'll keep doing that. We'll draw on some reserves. We'll have the Alpine line. The Alpine line is a series of four lines that protect us against Italy. Colonial manpower. We have a vast colonial empire. We should use it for the natives in our army. And heavy tanks for Heavy tanks are tanks are very heavy and are used to push in the front lines. They're heavily armored and can penetrate our forward line easily. By using this, we can support the infantry. It worked before, it works now. The military plans once worked, it must also work again. But we'll purge the Democratic parties and then do La Solution Radical. I think that would be great. And we can strike a Bavaria too. Oh, we can go to war with them. Oh, but I just want to go to war with everybody. I'm just a very aggressive person. La Solution Final. Well. I'm not sure which one to choose. Army will handle it. Police handle. Let's do like Carling you. That'll never go poorly, right? Of course not, so. They handle it. The Carling you is a French secret police. It handles all imperial espionage and carry out special operations like this. Among friends, they are known for their brutality and ruthlessness. Some people tried carefully, especially radicals. Uh, Pierre Bonny. He had the Carling you, met with Napoleon today's guest operation. We know their names, you know where they live. You only need to say the word your emperor. My men shall send them to a labor camp in the Sahara Pierre. Said to Napoleon. Napoleon was dazzled and bewildered at the entire situation. He was but a team and leads the greatest country in the world. Give him a trip to the Sahara. We'll see what happens next. But it's 1939. We gotta make sure we get some good guns and get ready for these goddamn perfidious North German Confederation members. Oh god, I hope we can hold them off. Because they are gonna be a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. Um, in the meantime, we're doing okay. Unyielding Defender? Sure, why not? Anything else we really care about here? Not too much. And. Huh. Within a day of giving you the order, Carling Gu agents were sent all across the country. They busted in homes and cellars early in the morning while the radicals were still sleeping. Thousands of arrests were made and several hundred died. Only fewer, few, very few agents died as the radicals were prepared. It was quite a bit of manpower. Um, a remaining stronghold. Nice. Charles de Gaulle flees to Switzerland. Charles de Gaulle, a notorious French politician and army general, has always been loyal to the Arme, being a veteran from the Great War, however. During the Solution Finale, at the arrest of all the Republicans, Charles de Gaulle came out. He had always been a loyal but a secret Republican. De Gaulle was a garrison, in a garrison outpost when the order to arrest the Republicans came. De Gaulle lied and said fled to Switzerland. Being in our sphere of influence and in the Continental Alliance, he'll be back home soon to be dropped for treason. Why do people like him always escape? Hey, we'll see. But we did do that one. Um, the Solution Radical. We're currently doing the Alpine line. I read this in oh, both all like all these earlier, you know, because I want to get to this one as fast as possible. The new army. So, our grand battle plan. Are we going grand battle plan? Oh, we've not even chosen one yet, really, just because of how everything's worked out so far. Um, this heavy ship. Raichelieu. Better anti-air, maybe. Better stuff there. Sure. Overall, not bad. Um, what are we missing here? Support equipment and anti-air, which is not ideal. Support equipment we're working on. Anti-air, huh? No, we're working on anti-air. I think that's a good amount that we currently have for that. Um, just because it is 39 and we might be at war soonish. As long as we can hold the line, that's the biggest thing. I don't want the British to do that, but a remaining stronghold. Uh oh. Well, the Carling Gu knew the identity and whereabouts of almost all French people, some escaped the grasp. People that are presumed dead by living under the radar, right under the nose. Radicals and Jacobins alike, but today a police radio station around the Rhine picked up a small radio frequency. It took some time, but it was localized to be within a few kilometers. The Carling Gu went out, were sent out there immediately afterwards. The agents arrived at what seemed like an empty field, field of grass as far as I could see. But there was a secret underground before the Great War. There was a great functioning system of tunnels in the area. After the war, they were closed due to budget limitations. The Carling Gu found themselves the entrance and cracked it open. The agents entered and were horrified at what they saw. An anarchist flag marked as literature. My god, this was a Jacobin hideout. Without hesitation, the Irish started firing on the revolutionaries. They started a great battle in the tunnels. It was easy in the beginning, but as the battle dragged on, so did the casualties on both sides. Near the end of the battle, the revolutionaries were tied up in a corner with only one exit out. A small hatch. The Carling Gu threw a smoke grenade, then a grenade, then went off, and a thick smoke covered the tunnels. What happened? 
the lone survivor, the dust and smoke settled and the battle ended. The revolutionaries were dead, but from the ceiling a beam of light shined. The hatch was open and the lone survivor was far away. After cleaning up blood and body parts, many documents were revealed. Documents about the brutality of the Carlin in the Empire, uh, with all condemning evidence. And in a bookshelf there was a small, distinct book missing. They just knew what was going on. The survivor taking the book with evidence and escaped to the press, and before they knew it, it was too late. Uh, the press put this on this, put out this huge scandal. The Carlin Gui abusing the power, murders ranging in the thousands, anti-constitutional work. It was deeply embarrassing. We are screwed. Oh, huh. well then. Now how do we look? Pretty red! But we're gonna get Colonial Manpower next. Because I want to get I want to get rid of victors of the Great War. Oh, it's so bad. We might have to go to War with Italy too. I don't know. We'll see. Because we are just really out of stuff here. Nice. Keep making more divisions. More, 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 please. As the Dutch are dead, which is good. Look at that. Honestly, you guys are over here. You're defending against that, which is fine for now. Um, you guys do that. There you go. Gonna need somebody there, anyways. Uh, I thought Charles got left, so. All these generals aren't very good. Antoine Bertaud. Something like that, I don't know. Go to. One is probably good enough for that. Uh, what else do we need here? One, two, three. Destroyer holes are. They're decent, they're not fantastic. All right, I guess we'll have to just have to wait and see. Um, we're screwed, but I don't seem that screwed. Second, Rur Alf Stan. Oh, he guards. He guards. It's failure. Yeah. Serve democracy, Gunter Meyer. Pardon. Australian tension spike. Bertold. Quite a bit of socialism around here. Not ideal. Um, so a little ahead of time. Stuff from 1939 is stuff what we want. Uh, recon or maybe military police. Ah. Well, there you go. That would do it. Because they are in our alliance. Yep, well, it looks like it's happened. Let's save real quick. And then we'll stop training our ships, because it looks like we made some more battleships too. Look at this. Haraldites? Interesting. Repair and repair. Can we join your war? Colonial manpower and some heavy tank support, yeah. Oh, they're taking from there. Okay, well, let's grab these guys real quick then. There's a case. We also probably want to do this war pretty quickly just because I don't want to have to deal with them, the Germans, as well as the British at the same time. So. so would you look at that? Sinkage. Beautiful. They might have air superiority though. What is this? Couple convoys lost. Nice, nice, nice. Could we? Um, um, it shouldn't be too difficult to push through here, right? One, two, three, maybe? Mm, we're doing alright. Build up that thing in Savoy, yes. And. Refinery. Good. What are we missing? 
Anti-air and light tanks now. Oh god. Uh, do we have light tanks? With the barnacles? Well. Thank you. Improved radio. This is you just give us reliability or something in the past? Alright then. Consolidate it real quick. Ah. Really don't have very much, do we? I guess like power drive that way, maybe? You know what? Be nice if we could. Ship stuff is fine. Your refining is good to get. Plane stuff's a little ahead of time still, but go for better engines. And they're defeated, which is nice. Keep one there. Nice. Good rubber, nice. Yes, I can 40 anyways, do that too. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, go to search by requirement. Or, oh, we can't even go here. We don't have enough stability for that stuff. Well, all right. Well, we can try this. How's it going to work out in the end? Especially these guys somewhat cut off, but not really. Nice. And then it works where it works now. Military plans that once worked must also work again. Hey, we have five divisions and circled up here, nice. We're probably losing a lot of men, aren't we? 70,000 isn't actually too bad. It's really good for arming speed, though. My goodness. We have no stability, but who needs stability, right? Munich. These guys are cut off from supplies. A beautiful thing, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. We're losing up there, but we're doing. Wow, Versburg is looking pretty good over right, right now, huh? I'm gonna have you guys finish real quick up here. And then, uh. Let's make sure you guys over here. It should be fine. No worries. Right? Right. We've got a few divisions down there. It's alright. We've only lost 77,000 versus a quarter million, so. And these guys are red. Alright, the Reformed Socialists. So. Sigmaringen. Beautiful. Better engines. Nice. I like cannons. Good. I'm sure why guys are attacking, but whatever. Eastern offensive. Or Eastern German offensive. Operation 64 divisions. Why are you guys attacking?
You try it. And now we'll finally get to the new army. Our army, having been left to demolish after the Great War, was stopped in time since then. The generals refusing to move on from the winning tactics. Or tactics. What are tactics? We have our former armies in now distinct memory. Couchy so far. They're running out of manpower too, though, so. Turn up green air. We could wait a little bit longer. Let's wait. We tried. Two thousand losses, pretty much. Let's let's get this focus done first, and then we'll do all of our stuff that we need to do. We have more than enough manpower to just wallop them after that. We have a thousand left, so. Oh, okay. Weird. Sense. Do why you are struggling. Beautiful. Finally, got the new army done. Marine Nationale. The Marine Nationale is an important part of the armed forces to destroy Britain. We need to improve our navy. That's very true. Uh, army de l'air. Or de air. One of the most important branches of armed warfare is the newest one, the new Air Force. It'll aid both the Navy and the Air Force, so the real question is, how will the Air Force be used? Will we use the aid of Armed Forces and Marines, or will we make massive bombers that can reach unspecified t threats across an unspecific sea? Pay Spain for Catalonian region. Faction restructuration. Yeah, we'll probably do that eventually, too. Increase naval fundings. Prepare for war. Yeah. Get American support. The equipment of soldiers is about as important as soldiers themselves. We must construct military factories in France, but in phase, that does not take a toll on the people but the, and the land. And as we don't take control of the long land of people, the industrialization of France must come in phases. Invest in Algeria. It's a crown colony of France. A part of the Mediterranean, it's important that we maintain an industrialized colony. Invest in Tunisia. It's part of a French protectorate. It's important that we keep it modernized and ready for future warfare. Invest in sub-Saharan colonies. Sub-Saharan Africa is just about as important as the North. We can keep it in check too. And invest in Egypt. Egypt is the most important asset in North Africa. However, it's home to the vast riches of the ancient pharaohs. We must keep it right for the future. All right. So, that should give us quite a bit more organization and breakthrough, too, which is good. Oh, crap. That's not good. We got ends now. Um, but that's okay. So, they're going to go for our colonies, aren't they? That's going to suck. Good luck. Maybe it's assault expert. Uh, probably not. We'll put in tech. Uh, I can have that anyways. Why not? Oh my god. Well, I might have to redo this just a little bit off screen because it's taking forever. And I don't understand why they have so much defense here. They get bonuses. Oh, they have an oil crisis. That's good to see. Um, ah, modern military ideas. Which is not too overpowering, but, you know, whatever. Um, I might redo this to go back to the drawing board, so. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll try to figure out how to deal with Britain as well as Germany. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.